Here is, are the tools we use. We've got Daniel's comb and my comb, and you brush brush up all the hair when you're done, and scissors for thinning. These scissors here are for thinning. They only get it half the hairs. We don't hardly ever use this anymore because right? it's getting pretty thin already. And then we have two regular pairs of scissors, barber scissors, for for uh, shortening the hair on top and wherever. And then we have the wall clippers here, which have a lever on them. This lever, if you, if you look, you can see how it raises and lowers the blade. And you want this so the back blade is just you look at it sideways and see if we can get some light here. And we can this way. It's too bright, I guess. And this is probably good. So you want it so the back, the sliding one is just a little bit longer than the, the permanent than the moving blade. The sliding blade, this one, doesn't move except when you move this lever. And you want it just a little farther out than the, the moving blade, the vibrating blade. So it doesn't tear up your neck when you use it. So you just set it like that and you use it that way all the time. Okay. And then we have four different lengths of uh, preset clipping guards or guides. And we basically use just the small one. Which we use this one, and we use the big one. And then we have this cloth that goes over us when we do the haircut. And I give Daniel, and this is the oil, we put a drop of oil right here, right, right down where, the, right in that slot there, just put a drop in there every time we use it just to keep it so it moves smoothly. So that's all the tools we use. And then we have a the stool here that we sit on. Okay, here we are. We're going to give Daniel his first haircut this year. No, he's already had a couple. And the first thing we're going to do is going to cut the cut the hair in the back of his neck all the way down to where there's no more hair. And uh, if he had like me, I've got hair all the way down to my shoulders. He he has to cut all that off with this. So we start off. And we basically go from the bottom of the ears back to here for the length. Maybe just a little bit lower. Depends how much of the neck you want to have hair on. So we're going to just line up here and we're going to cut it off. We're going to go down this neck. It doesn't hurt, right? And we'll go over this a little more after we do the next step get it exactly the way we want. Mainly it's just kind of clean the neck up. And make it the same on both sides. This is really a, a quick down and dirty way to do a haircut. And it makes you kind of presentable again. Almost good enough to go to church. And we're going to do more in a little bit. Okay. Next thing we do, is we put this the large adapter on here. This is where we do the, we snap it on to the clippers. And then we turn it on, and then we just go up. This is really easy, up straight. And we just do this on the side, and the back. So we're going to do this all the way around. We don't want to go over his head because then we'll <laughs> give him a really short hair because then. Okay, now we're we're going to go around his ears. We're going to, first thing we're going to do is we usually go right here. We go straight to that and cut that. 
And then we go around the ears. We go like this. Mm. And you're supposed to make that noise too because it makes it work better. Mm. And then you come around here and you do this part. So we're just coming in there now, and this is static as you can see. After this process, he goes and washes his head in the bathtub, rinses it all off, or takes a shower, and it feels good, and combs it up, and away he goes. And that's the simple barch haircut. Got a clean neck, I got the brush here. You brush off the neck, you get all the junk out, and once he rinses it, it'll be good. He'll be good for three months. Because that's about how often we do this. We get so long and... And then we have to sweep the floor and then he gives me a haircut, which you'll see that next. Anyway, God bless you.